Chelsea's tarot reading. So this pick a card was voted for it by you guys and it is who fell deeply for you and still thinks of it. So um there's always so this was kind of a random one but um I f I was it I was trying to think of random, you know, topics and this one came up and this one apparently is popular so i went with it i did three different piles for this one um pile one two and three um i will also just say quickly the giveaway those of you who don't know i'm doing this giveaway um it's the deviant moon tarot it's beautiful I have one of my own. This is a different one though because I have the borderless one. This one has the border on it, but it's beautiful. So I'll actually take that out, but I'll post the giveaway in the comments, not the description because like I, I've said this in my other videos, but YouTube keeps hiding the link. I don't know why. It must just be against the policies or whatever. So yeah. That will be in the comments as well as the timestamps. So we'll get into it. All right. Hi, pile one. So who is this person? <laughs> oh, wow. We have, oh my God. So I thought this one was crazy, but this is crazy. But we have, I would marry you. So this person whose mind you weigh on heavily actually would tell you or the, either way they think heavily of this that they would marry you like in a heartbeat um two of air being unable or unwilling to make a decision a stalemate pretending there's no problem well so this person could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius but basically this person right now I feel like is it, I feel like it might be going on right now for most, but they're definitely pretending that there's no problem going on in their life um, internally, but there is a lot, I feel, especially with the two of air, there actually is a lot going on. Um, <sighs> looks like they're unwilling again. How it says unwilling to make a decision i feel like this person just has a lot like i feel like their thoughts of you are just kind of um they're just trying to i feel like block you out not block you out but pretend that you know there's not a problem there to begin with to even you know go through with or whatever but you definitely are on their mind a lot I'm not sure if they like this or not. They definitely would marry you, so I'm assuming. But they are trying to kind of like um, forget about it. Pretend that there's no problem. So how they see you, I love this. They see you as Yamanya. So golden opportunity. So quite literally, they think of you as a golden opportunity i feel like this person when they talked to you or when they dated you um they felt like you were an opportunity you could be a water sign you don't have to be but um for some reason i get that for some of you but yeah important doors are opening walk through them so again this like i feel like how they think of you is like you're a big deal um they feel as though you're important an important person but they also feel like you know that so let's get into my tarot cards <clears throat> Maybe we can find out a little more about this person, hopefully. Kind of decode it. So we have four pentacles. This person, so what this tells me right off the bat is this person could be very, <clears throat> sorry, very greedy, very selfish, self-destructive. Um, maybe they're not, maybe they don't do so well with money as well. Um, but... I feel like they literally are so self-destructive and it's like to themselves as well as like not just the connection you guys had I feel like this is just how they are so 
So if you're a male watching, this could be the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, or you could be the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. But either way, you guys know that the Queen of Wands is someone who is vibrant, confident, obviously goes back to Yamanya, confident, um, beautiful, like just passionate, obviously, very passionate. Um, yeah, so again, it could go either way. Then, okay, so now we have the Three of Cups. So this person could actually be a friend. It could be one of, it could be like an old friend of yours because the Three of Cups sometimes um, represents true friendship. Um, this could also be for some maybe a third party situation um, with the Three of Cups because it's about emotions, but I feel like it's more, um, you were very friendly with this person, like you guys are really good friends. Hmm. It's funny because temperance literally comes out all the time in love readings because, and it does make a lot of sense though, because who doesn't want balance, you know what I'm saying? Basically, um, this person, whoever this person may be, definitely wants balance, but not even just with you but in general i feel like this like like i said before um i want to point out especially emotionally i feel as though this person kind of mm, is going through a lot emotionally and they want to really balance their emotions right now because i feel as though their emotions are definitely out of whack again as for signs um there's definitely some air definitely there is definitely fire also water, obviously very strong water, um, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but I feel like that's more of just this person's kind of um, emotions and what they're going through um, when it comes to you on their mind. Because again, this is about someone who thinks about you like more, like, you know, rather frequently, that, sorry, rather frequently than, you know, as if someone else would think of you, um, you know, just kind of you popping up in their head. Um, but yeah, so basically what I learned, what, you know, we took away from this is, you know, whoever this person is, um, just greed, selfishness, and yeah, they definitely want balance so bad, but they're very stubborn people. Um, so yeah, I hope this resonated and hopefully you guys know exactly who this is. <laughs> Hi pile two. So, um, who is thinking heavily about you? Um, and what along those lines, as well as, tr um, trying to kind of piece together who this might be. All right. So. We have, um, I pulled my, my little compliment deck I made a while back, but this person, they would tell you that they think definitely you have a lot of beauty inside and out. They think you're very beautiful, not just on the outside, but on the inside. Um, we have the queen of earth here. So either this person or it's you who is the queen of earth. So, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. So this is how base, and I'm going to definitely assume this is for you guys, but, um, basically I feel this is how this person feels about you, that you are very thoughtful. You're a very creative person. You are very warm and you are sensible and you are sensitive to others' needs and others' emotions as well. Um... And you try to be as kind and understanding to others as possible, which is great. Or again, if you're a man watching, that is how they take that approach. So I love this. So this is how they see you um, as a goddess. So Freya, bold. Um, they see you as, to me, like she stands out as a goddess she definitely does stand out um 
this person feels like you are very adventurous. Maybe this person um, went on a lot of adventures with you. Like maybe you guys traveled together or just did different things together. Kind of, Again, more of like an adventurous approach. Um, but yeah, and again, as you can see, she's also very physically attractive. So um, they see you as bold, daring. I feel like you're very... I feel like you're basically just a force to be reckoned with, <laughs> especially with this card. So let's get to the tarot cards, kind of figure out more about the who this person is, kind of. Oh my god, two of swords came up in the first deck, jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Well, we got a sign there for you ladies. Well, all right, so who is this person? We have King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a, a man who is very masculine and passionate. Um, definitely has a fiery side to him. Um, it's funny how the Queen of Pentacles came up again. Um, I do feel you definitely weigh on this person's mind a lot because it's just so significant. And again, it'd be really funny if most of you are earth signs because like Jesus, you know, if not, that's totally okay because they see you that way. I mean, they see you again as someone who is very abundant. Like, um, I feel not just like, it doesn't have to be money, but I feel like you have a lot of care and a lot of um selflessness i mean if you don't they definitely see you that way like they definitely see you as someone who's nurturing um definitely so then we have the two of swords um again this came out in the first pile so what this is definitely telling me again especially for this pile um they like they think about you but they sort of try not to so it's the sort it's the kind of thing where they just want to ignore um their thoughts and they also are very um torn in their minds about a decision obviously that decision could be regarding you especially definitely um you're on their mind regardless and you know this decision that they have, it could be that they think about you, um, but they don't want to for other reasons, but either way, they just feel kind of, um, how should I say, mentally stuck. Like, yeah, like when, it, like they think about you often, but when, like, I just feel they're, they're, they're unable to make a decision when it comes to what exactly is they want. Um, we'll get, sorry, what exactly it is they want, um, from you, but again, that's for some, but I feel like most, it's kind of just like you're on this person's mind and they can't make a decision really. It could be any decision. I feel like for most, it's going to be a decision that's internal for them. Um, either way, it's just the kind of thing where it's something that they can't shake. But yeah, uh, I hope this reading helped you all, um, and let me know if that resonates. Hi, pile three. So first thing I want to point out before anything is that this person, um, who, this person in this reading is someone who, this is how they see you. They see you as Isolt, which is undying love, obviously. She's very beautiful, definitely on the inside, especially. We have the love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. This love, like this person loves you, and they will love you regardless of whatever happened between you. That's like a strong, strong message. And it's like to the point where like, it's so beautiful that I'm like, really about to cry and trust me like when i do these videos like i'm not always i i don't always pick piles or whatever obviously because 
it's not it, it's just not me but um don't get me wrong i love giving readings but it's just like this is so like oh so that's first off then we have strength which is like really beautiful as well so for this part you guys have really great inner strength um release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion so basically this could be for you this could be for them but they um that well, actually this is for them because i do sense that they're kind of gaining the strength right now and they are you know definitely still working on the forgiveness they're being definitely more compassionate even obviously if you know this person doesn't show it to you which you know but they're working on definitely having more compassion for the situation as well as forgiveness. <clears throat> this person also is someone who actually thinks very, very highly of you. Um, this is actually a really good compliment because obviously it means in all aspects they just really think highly of you. So let's... They also actually, what I'm also getting to is that they feel as though other people think highly of you as well. So, all right. Oh, okay. This person is someone who <clears throat> didn't want to leave. I get the sense that they didn't want to leave, but they left. <clears throat> but they didn't want to. And I only get that because it's reversed. So to me, that's kind of saying like... Um, the, whoever this was, it happened, and it happened in the past because um, sometimes reversals mean like past, so it happened in the past. Um, the hanged man reverse is also interesting. This is someone who could be very like carefree. Um, they're not stagnant, I get, they move around a lot. This per I um so for signs also Earth, Earth is strong. We have strength. Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who. Yeah, for some reason with the hanged man reverse also I kind of get this is someone who is not very stagnant in life with the because then also what I get with the nine of pentacles as well is this is someone who, really um enjoys to be out like in nature, um. I feel like they could also, like, whoever this is, they enjoy the little things, like, because with the, with the, um, with the Nine of Pentacles, it's almost the Ten of Pentacles, like, it's kind of, like, the, almost at, you know, that kind of, that level of, like, happiness. It could also be, too, that they're, um, comfortable when it comes, like, money-wise, like, they could also be very, very comfortable, I get the feeling, um, I kind of want to pull another card as to who this person is, like that way we can learn a little more. But yeah, whoever this person was, like when they left you, they didn't want to leave. They are someone who, um, I feel is very abundant. Someone who takes chances, they're not very stagnant. This person. Oh. We have another sign. So we have the Queen of Swords. That's interesting. So you could be the Queen of Swords as well. It could be showing you as the Queen of Swords. So if you're a male watching, though, it's Earth sign or Air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who is this person? And then we have Page. <laughs> it says, yeah, Pentacles. So, all right. So, yeah, this is someone who... Um, it's kind of like, I like the energy of this person just because I feel like, um, them, I feel like they themselves are kind of an opportunity. Um, 
they could they they could come on they could come as the page but um what do I want to say um they're very grounded I also kind of get it's like they're very grounded they're I feel like they're good with money I want to say um again this could be either you or them but this obviously represents someone who's very intellectual, an intellectual woman, um, who um, says what she means and means what she says. Um, someone who, you know, again, is like not afraid to speak their truth. Um, but yeah, and then again, like I said, in other cases, this could represent the person who's watching. Um, but yeah, this is who this person is. Um, this is someone, again, this person, whoever this is, they do have this undying love for you. The love that they have, because it is eternal. And again, forgiveness and compassion, as well as this could be a sign for you to have at least some forgiveness and compassion for this person. Although it might be hard. And the only reason why I say that is because of the Six of Swords reverse. Because this person, whoever it is, probably hurt you a little bit uh, when they left you. So, yeah, that's why I get that. But with the Page of Pentacles, again, it's someone who is focused on money. They think time is of the essence, you know. They... Basically that kind of thing. Very grounded people as well. And someone, again, someone who likes to, you know, have fun, let loose a little. And, yeah. So, um, I hope this resonated, guys.